Hi everybody, it's Christina from Pretty Distressed. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys my top five favorite tools for furniture flipping. You can use these tools to really level up your makeovers and I'm gonna be showing you the tools, how I use them, and some of the incredible flips that I've done with them this year. So if you wanna see my five favorite tools, just keep watching. Today's video is sponsored by my friends at Ryobi. I have been using their tools in my makeovers from the very beginning, so I'm so excited to be teaming up with them today and sharing you these five tools that I love, love, love. And Ryobi is going above and beyond today because they are doing a super big giveaway for you guys. One lucky winner is gonna win all five tools that I mentioned in this video, so stick around to the end for details on how to enter. My first favorite tool that I wanna share with you guys is the five inch random orbit sander. This is a must for furniture flippers. Your hands are gonna get way too tired if you try to do things by hand with sandpaper. So Orbit Sander is just gonna give you more power. You can scuff sand with a low grit to help your paint stick better. You can smooth any wood filler or any imperfections that you have in your wood. And you can use it also to strip back stuff to bare wood if you're looking for a stained look or maybe a natural wood look. One of my favorite sanded pieces this year was taking this dark dresser, revealing this beautiful natural wood and color blocking the drawers. This makeover was stunning and it's still one of my favorites. And I also loved the makeover of its sister piece. Again, I removed this dark stain by sanding it back and creating a beautiful natural wash. A great feature about this sander is that it runs on Ryobi's 18 volt one plus system. They have over 225 pieces of equipment that run off this battery system that they have. So if you invest in the batteries, invest in some of the tools, those batteries are gonna work from piece to piece. So it makes it super simple. They're really high quality um, lithium ion batteries and they're gonna work from piece to piece. Not having to mess with and worry about a cord and extension cords is just one less thing you'll have to worry about when you're flipping your first Furniture. My second favorite tool is the two speed half inch drill and driver combo. Now this comes with two of those batteries that you're going to be able to use on any of the tools that I'm sharing with you today. It also comes with a charger and a handy carrying case. Now a drill is a super handy tool just to have for any DIY or any repairs you need to do around the house. But for furniture flipping, it comes in handy for removing old hardware, drilling new hardware holes, making repairs. And I also use mine to remove old decorative trim and bases. And then I use it to put together my new bases and new trim that I have been building for pieces this year and really enjoying that process. Now the drill you're seeing here is the standard Ryobi drill, but they have upgraded me and they're gonna upgrade my giveaway winner today with their brushless series. What is so great about the brushless series is that they have more power, longer run time, a longer motor life, but the most exciting thing is that they're more compact and they're lighter, so they're easier to work with, and I'm gonna have more space in my workspace out here to store those tools. They're not taking up as much room. And to show you the rest of this makeover, I stained that base that I built and painted it with a beautiful blue color, added that new hardware, and this thing was a showstopper. Now a driver I don't really use in furniture flipping, but I love it in this kit because you get the extra battery, you get the charger, and then you have a driver if you need it for other things around the house. It works with longer screws and with uh, harder materials like masonry or brick. Before I get to tool number three, I just wanna stress the importance of always practicing safety when you're using power tools. Make sure you're always wearing safety goggles with side impact protection. Don't wear loose clothing. Definitely don't have those hoodies on with those strings hanging out. You don't want anything getting caught up in your tools. And you always wanna pull your hair back as well. So protect yourself. Watch the safety videos on Ryobi. They'll be a great resource to you too. 
My number three favorite tool is the jigsaw. This is one that is fairly new to my arsenal and I have used it for so many things. It's really fun and easy to work with. I've cut out the inside of doors to cane them and add some decorative detail. I have cut off bases with this. And one of my favorite things to do with this is take the scalloping off of pieces that, you know, just makes them look dated with that really ornate base. I've gone in there and cut that off and made it more square and it really gives a beautiful modern look to furniture. This poorly painted piece from the thrift store got this treatment. I trimmed off the scalloping to make the base more modern. And then I did a really pretty charcoal wash on here that I have seen at some of those popular designer dressers. And I sealed it with a protective flat clear coat. And this thing turned into a classic modern beauty. And again, Ryobi has upgraded me and given me a brushless version of their jigsaw. So again, I'm going to have more power, longer life, and it's going to be more compact. My number four favorite tool is the crown stapler. So anybody who has tried to use one of those handheld staplers and staple that into wood and furniture knows how tough that can be on your hand. And sometimes the staple doesn't even go in. Well, the staple's gonna go in every time with this thing. And it even has an adjustment on the top so you can set up how far you want the staple to go in your piece. My favorite thing to do with this stapler is apply cane to furniture. Cane is such a beautiful addition to furniture. It can really modern things up. And I have done it several times on projects this year. I used this technique on an old sleigh bed and it really lightened it up with some paint and those cane accents. And this guy looks completely different now with its new base and its cane doors. And of course, that's the way I use the crown stapler with furniture, but there are tons of other ways to use that around your house and you will never want to use a manual stapler again. Before I get to my last tool, you guys, I just want to encourage you if you are intimidated at all by power tools, that if I can do it, you can do it. I've learned so much this year and I've really been able to take my makeovers to the next level and I just keep learning and growing and can't wait to try new things. So I just want to encourage you that you don't have to be intimidated. Anybody can use power tools. All right, my fifth and final favorite tool is one who has become my best friend, and that is the miter saw. This will be the biggest investment for you guys, but this tool I think is so important in furniture flipping. You can do so many things with this. It just cuts wood beautifully. It cuts angles really easily. I have used this to build new trim for pieces this year. And of course those bases that everybody goes crazy over. This is definitely an investment, not just in furniture flipping, but in any DIY that you wanna do around your house. We've used it to build tables and a couple of beds for our kids and even put up shiplap so the uh, the uses of this thing are never ending i know it's an investment but i know you will be happy with it hands down this is my favorite makeover that i used the miter saw on this year and it went viral on tiktok so a lot of you guys liked it too this is the project where i got really comfortable using the miter saw on my own and all my other tools and it just went from really drab to a stunning beautiful dresser So those are my five favorite tools that I think are going to help you take your furniture flipping to another level. And like I said, one lucky winner is going to win all five tools mentioned today. It's really easy to enter. All you have to do is be subscribed here to Christina Mascari. Go subscribe to Ryobi's YouTube channel so you can learn about all their great tools and have all the instruction and safety information that you need. And the last thing I want you to do is leave a comment below about what tool you're most excited to try. Check out the description box for all the details on this giveaway. I will be pinning the winner right here on this video one week from the premiere date. Thank you guys for joining me for today's video. This is my last video of 2021. I'm going to be taking a big break for the holiday season, but I will be back.
back in 2022 with more of Furniture Makeovers. So thanks for being here, you guys, and I will see you next time.